Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another quick tip on some sound design. Today we're going to design a Reese bass. And the type of bass I'm referring to is found in popular driven bass tracks such as Messiah by Conflict. So I'll just play. <laughs> that that menacing distorted bass sound so that that's what we re refer to as the Reese bass and we're going to be designing this in serum however the basics can be applied to pretty much any synthesizer and what we're going to start off with is a basic sawtooth wave so pretty much any kind of Reese bass is built with this waveform it's a sawtooth okay so if you can't find a soft tooth, you can simply go under analog and then you can look for basic shapes and you'll first see the uh, sign, but if you change the wavetable position, you'll then find the soft tooth here. Okay, so to get it sounding really big, it's all about the unison mode. So. What we're talking about is this button here. All we're doing is dragging this. So when it's at two, now this waveform is doubled. And we, if we put it at three, now you get three. So the more waveforms you add, the higher the unison mode, the fatter the sound, right? So resounds uh, any can be can use anything from two. Um, to copies to as much as six and even more if you want. Now it's all about adjusting this detune. That's how close these um, duplicate waveforms are together in terms of their pitching. So you can tell by this uh, graphical interface, the, uh, the less detune is, the closer together the notes are. So when they're all the way here, they're, they're pretty much all playing at the same pitch. So you just get a louder sawtooth. But when you spread the, the pitch, that's when it starts to sound uh, more fatter. And you can usually find a sweet spot. You just gotta experiment until you find it. So that's sounding pretty good. So that's the basics of it and from here again everything else is optional in terms of how you want to further shape your Reese. But this is the basic building block. You can add an additional sub oscillator. So if you enable this, maybe make an octave lower. You can also make the sub oscillator a sawtooth. You might want to adjust the level of that sub oscillator so it's not overpowering the, the, the overall character of the Reese. Now, depending how you like your Reese, that's definitely a way to go. Uh, for me personally, I, I tend not to add a sub oscillator, but I just wanted to let you guys know that there is that option. So another way to fatten this up is to turn on your filter. Uh, we want to bring the cutoff all the way up. We don't actually want to filter anything. We're simply applying the drive of this filter. And that, that'll, that'll kind of overdrive the signal. Now it's getting a bit loud, so I'm going to lower the master volume here. The fat knob do wonders sometimes. Now we're going to go into the effects section and further manipulate the signal. You can add a distortion. Now we're going to 
that choose the right um, distortion pattern. <laughs> the sound a bit wider of the hyper dimension. Again, the hyper dimension uses the detune, so it's a similar methodology. The hyper dimension also has a unison mode, it's currently set to four, so it's, it's uh, quadrupling the overall signal so we currently already have six and then that signal is quadrupled so you get a fatter sound you can increase that dimension sometimes we like to add a phaser to the reese and finally you can add some multi-band compression to really smash this Reese. Now just to turn on the multi-band, make sure on here below this little meter you click multi-band. And then there's three bands here. This is the high frequency. So depending on where you set this, it's hard to see, but there's this little black button here that sets the amount of high frequency that is getting distorted. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to, I have an Amen beat written already. I'm just going to play some Reese over this and let's see what we get. pretty evil and nasty so we're gonna choose that last phrase that we recorded uh, crop that down we just need this to be one more can further affect your your serum you could probably add some additional EQ <laughs> cool effect that you could use in Ableton to add some grit to your Reese is the erosion effect so if you pull that over now you can either use wide noise or sign it gives you a different kind of um, grit you can 
further add overdrive. <laughs> Of course, if you have third-party plugins, you can further distort it. I like this guy, Devaster 2. Now one final trick, sometimes um, we don't want that crazy reese, uh, and there's a one thing you can do with the reese to give you a totally different kind of bass note, a bass sound, and simply we just add a uh, filter, a low pass, and we can take out all the high end, and you get that rumbly kind of drum and bass bass. <laughs> that you might want to remove some of the effects we're only just looking for that low end <laughs> This kind of bass line, you might want to play a different melody. Simply just go into Serum and access the filter right in the synth. It actually sounded better that way, so I'm gonna go try that. The low pass 24 gives you a better, better rounding of high frequencies. So this kind of resound is found in such tunes such as um, comics, be true. Notice how it's more of a low rumble. And there you have it. I just showed you guys two forms of Reese's. And remember the basic block, basic building block is selecting the sawtooth and then adjusting the unison and then the detune of the unison mode. And then everything there is optional, adding a filter, adding a sub oscillator, distorting the effect, adding multiband compression and whatnot. So there you have it. Pretty awesome sound. So uh, go on in and try making your own Reese and try experimenting with your own parameters. Let me know how you guys do in the comment section. And definitely like the video and subscribe to my page if you like what you saw today. And also let me know what kind of sounds you want to see in future videos. Until then, we'll see you at the next video.